Hi guys, BJ here. Today we are working on a 2015 Ford Fiesta and I'm going to be showing you quickly how to remove the factory fitted radio that's in the car. Removing this radio today to fit a Parrot hands-free kit. Now sadly I don't have time to actually show you how to fit the whole hands-free kit. I'm on a bit of a time limit today. But if you are fitting a hands-free kit, just briefly you will need one of two adapter leads depending on your plug. Now the adapter leads could be these are made by Auto Leads, and the part number is SOT938. This is the most common one. Okay, has a grey plug on the end, like so. That's the most common one, yeah? Or, the rarer one of the two, SOT984. Now, I won't know until I've removed the radio, but I am actually betting it's the first one, like I say. So, to remove the radio, you're going to need a couple of things. Uh, namely, a plastic leverage tool. My old favourite, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know I use these a lot. Um, because you've got to leave us some bits of trim on the car. Now, the trim is obviously plastic and on this one painted, so we don't want to do any damage. If you pop a screwdriver down the edge, you are going to definitely damage the trim. You don't want to do that. This is a Bojo tool, plastic leverage tool. And they're available from Amazon, eBay and places like that, car shops, etc. They're about a pound. They're well worth getting. Like I say, they won't damage your, your car. So... Pick up something like that. Do not use a metal screwdriver to leave a trim. The other thing you're going to need is a TX20 star drive. Yeah, like so. Now, there are some hidden screws holding this in. This is why you need your TX20. And you're going to have to start levering bits of trim to get to them. First things first, we're going to come down here to this little panel. Okay. Now, yes, I've already unclipped this because I needed two hands to do it. This is very, very fragile, okay? And there's only one clip hold it on. Now, when you can see the clip, there it is. There's the clip, and there's a little metal thing in there that holds it. Now, all you do to get this undone is literally put your trim tool in and ease it open, okay? Now, be really, really careful. Sorry there, just whack the camera. Because uh, this bit can snap off, so you've got to be very careful. You also find that the metal piece in here comes out occasionally and sits on the end of here. Very simple, just take it off and shove it, shove it back in its, in its little slot. Look. Now it's on really feeble little hinges here. Again, be very careful you don't snap them. Just take them off like so. Put that safely to one side. That is the most delicate part of taking the radio out. So if you've done that successfully, brilliant. Your next part can be very stubborn. And it's this top section okay you're gonna get your leverage tool under the edges here in the middle okay and you'll feel the middle bit pop each side okay once you've done that you can normally get your fingers underneath it and give it a bit of a pull and what will happen is the front will pop up because it's on the top securing lugs here and here but you've also got some quite meaty metal clips lock that sit in those holes now your middle ones here pop out easily but the rear ones can be a right stubborn sod to get out so again you're going to need your plastic leverage tool underneath pull it push it down and get your fingers under the back and pull up at the same time and that will pop each one like i say they are stubborn there they are look just take your time with those don't snap them off yeah so when it's all popped up you just lift and away take that part out of the way store it safely Next up, you've actually got access to the mounting screws. Now, as you can see, we've got 7mm bolts here and here. And there's your TX20s. We'll just take their TX20s and not TX25s. Never remember. TX25s. Sons of lords, because I told you it was TX20s. So they're TX25s. You can take those out. And also the 7mm retaining bolts that are next to them, these little ones here. Take all those out, get them removed. The stereo on this car is in sort of two pieces, so there's like a front fascia panel to it, which is obviously this assembly, and then the main stereo itself is just like a big silver box, and uh, it's quite a chunky thing, so you might want to cover up uh, your dashboard and your gear lever, etc., so you don't scratch it, you know, if you accidentally uh, pull the thing out and it falls down a little bit. Put your screws safe, you're going to need them. A uh, little tip, I always put them down in the gear gator, just so they don't get lost. Now we're going to remove these two 7mm bolts. So as you can see, the 7mm bolts are actually quite long. They're a good, uh, good centimetre or so. Take those out, 
put those safely to one side and then you should be able to pop this out now sometimes you can get your fingers behind it and pull sometimes you'll need your trim leverage tool all we're going to do if it won't move at the top which this one's quite tricky is put your hand under the very edge here yeah under that bit and sort of pull there we go click heard that click each corner there we go and gently ease this section forwards to reveal a wiring connector to undo just there so squeeze and pull to remove that so i'm just going to take that off now guys so with the face removed out of the way there's the connector we removed look it's got a little squeezy tab on it so squeeze the tab and pull that takes your whole fascia out of the way you're then left with the metal box i was on about which is the main unit these are on little plastic lugs so when you give it a pull you'll notice resistance give it a bit of a firm pull and it will sort of clunk and, and come out like so there's the plastic lugs look at the side there take that forwards just watching you don't scratch any trim down here because like i say it is metal and that will reveal your edge connectors and more importantly which ones you're going to need now this particular one is exactly as i said it's going to be using the very first uh, pack that i showed you so in other words if you fit in a hands-free kit and you want to use the same brand of adapter sot 938 is your one for this car so if yours looks like that sot 938 by Leads is your hands-free adapter cable these are all on squeezy tabs you just squeeze and pull which is quite tricky to do with one hand so i'll probably do that and cheat and edit my video pull your aerial connector off again squeeze squeeze pull pull and that is how you remove the radio from a ford fiesta now obviously if any of this bothers you at all please consult professional you know at the end of the day i'm not liable for any damage to your vehicle or injury to yourself by watching this video guide now if you've got any questions at all please pop them in the comments below and thank you very much for watching goodbye for now